Before we continue with the tutorial, I wanted to let you know that I've got something new over at my Etsy shop. These are ceramic coffee mugs designed and created especially for crocheters, yarn lovers, knitters. Hello crocheters, welcome back to Crazy Cool Crochet. If this is your first time visiting, thank you so much for stopping by. So for this project, we are making the coolest crochet poncho with sleeves. How cool is that? And better yet, this is great for crochet beginners. It's very, very simple. So for the materials, we are going to need uh, a number four yarn. I used an ombre and we'll need scissors, a yarn needle, and we will need two different size crochet hooks. We'll need a J or a six millimeter and an H or a five millimeter. And the smaller one is for the cuffs. But I wanted to let you know that you should watch the video all the way through because this has two different designs that you can choose from. And what I did differently is add this little border on each side. However, if you're a beginner, you can just make the main panels and call it a day. You don't need to worry about adding a border. For those who want to take it all the way, then I added the border for some interest, a little added uh, design element, and it makes it wider, which results in a longer sleeve. So it's hard to tell from this picture, but right up there is the end of the neckline. And then it continues over here. So the shoulder ends right about here, and then the rest of it is the sleeve. And then this is a cuff, and that's the cuff. Okay, so it's, it's a little bit odd looking <laughs> right now, but I wanted to give you that information. Watch the video all the way through so that you can decide which way you want to go with this. The main panel, I will be working with a swatch to show you how the stitches are worked. You will need two identical panels. So we're going to start with a chain of 114. You need to start with an even number chain. Then you're going to work a single crochet into each chain for 113 single crochets. Now for this row only, we're going to work in the back loop. So if you turn this toward you, you'll see the back loops. There's the two in the front and the one in the back. So I'm going to start the first one because it's tight for me usually. And you're working with the larger hook. The smaller hook is for the cuffs. Okay, now skip the first chain. It usually tightens up near the hook. Do not count the loop on the hook. Okay, so skip that first chain. Turn this toward you. I know that was hard to see. I'm just working on that very first one. Okay, now see how those bumps pop out at you? You're working into those bumps. So you will do that all the way across and you'll end up with 113 single crochets. Now we are working in that back loop for a very specific reason. When you do that, you end up with a like squared off bottom rather than a flat bottom. And we want to do that for this particular project because it's not going to have a border. So this is essentially a self-made border, that little squared off bottom. It's really pretty. So at the end of that row, you will chain one and turn. 
Now we are going to work a stitch that is called the extended single crochet. So we are going to start into that very first space. So you'll start as if for a single crochet. Two loops on the hook. Now you're going to pull through one loop. Normally you pull through both. So now you've got two loops on the hook again, pull through both loops. That is an extended single crochet. So what this does is give you more height, a little bit longer stitch. Now we're going to add a chain here. Okay, so you did your extended single crochet, chain one, skip the next space and do the extended single crochet in the next one. And you are working under both loops here or under both strands of that chain that forms at the top. Two loops, pull through one, pull through two, chain one, and there you go. Skip the next, and do that again. Two loops on the hook, pull through one, pull through two, chain one. Skip the next. That is your stitch. So continue that to the end of the row. At the end of the row, you should have two stitches remaining. So you can skip the one as normal and into the very last stitch there or space, work your last extended single crochet, chain one and turn. Now you want to enter your hook into the chain one spaces. So into that first chain one space, we're going to do an extended single crochet again. Chain one, skip right over to the next space for the extended single crochet. That's it. This is your repeat row. So you will be working this for the remainder of the panel. Now when you get to the end of the row, you're going to need to be careful here because you do have another space remaining at the end. So you did your chain one. So go ahead and enter your extended single crochet, chain one, turn, and repeat. Okay, so there's your first space. And then go into the next. And continue across the row. So you'll continue working in that pattern for a total of 57 rows. Now if you want a longer poncho or a shorter poncho, you can easily adjust that by making more or fewer rows. And the same with the width with the foundation chain. You can make it wider by adding more chains to the foundation chain. Just make sure you end up with an even number on the foundation chain. So we're going to start with a foundation chain of 41. Then you're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then a single crochet in each chain for 40 single crochets. Then you will chain one and turn. Now we're going to work a row of back loop only single crochets. So as you can see here, when you work, your work is forming a chain at the top. See all the little chains? So we're working into the back loop. Let me start the first one because that's always a little tight. Okay, so as you can see, the chain forms like a V. So you're going into the center of that chain so that you are essentially working into that back loop for a regular single crochet. 
and you will do this all the way across for 40 back loop only single crochets at the end of that row you will chain one turn and repeat so you're just working back loop only single crochets all the way across rows for the cuff you will work for 34 rows and if you wanted to make this shorter or longer you would adjust the foundation chain the number of chains that you work when your two panels are completed we're going to seam at the shoulders wrong sides facing up then you're going to determine the center of your panels and decide how wide you want the neck opening I chose to do 8 inches for mine you can use stitch markers to mark your neck opening I just use contrasting strands of yarn and then we're going to use a whip stitch to seam the shoulders grab your yarn needle with a length of yarn and we are going to attach at the corner so here's the shoulder there's the neck here's the edge where the sleeve will go so attach your yarn in the corner go under two stitches of each panel and then we're going to go around and around and around okay so just make sure you're grabbing two stitches on each panel like so and then pull through and that's it so just do this all the way across until you reach your stitch marker and then tie off the yarn and then repeat on the other side now I'm going to offer an, an alternate design here and this will expand the poncho to make it wider this will add length to the sleeves and just gives another design element so what we're going to do is put an edging or a border along the edges after you seam the shoulder there's the shoulder there's the neck opening so after the shoulder is seamed this is on the right side of the work you'll attach your yarn at the corner with a chain and then in the same space you're going to work an extended single crochet but no chain after and no skipping spaces so this is just going to be a row of extended single crochet so I've done a few here to show you how that will look working into the next row here of the edging there's your extended single crochet do not chain go right into the next space do not skip work your extended single crochet go right into the next space or the next row and continue across now when you come to this row go in between that bar and the edge go into that space and this is so you don't have a big gaping hole so work all the way across at the end of that first row of the edging you will chain one and turn course enter your last stitch into the corner now we're going to work an extended single crochet again into each space it'll be much easier this time your first one will go into that very first space then you will enter into each space across and 
excuse all the shadows here. I'm hoping you can see the row of chains that appear at the top. You're going under each of those two strand chains. Just continue that all the way across again. You would have worked the edging for five rows, then tie off the yarn, and then you will attach the cuff, find the center where the seam was, find the center of the cuff, line it up, and stitch to seam. Now to seam the side and under the cuff, We will use the same whip stitch and seam from about four inches from that corner, about four inches. You'll seam up and across to close up the cuff and create the sleeve. So thank you all for watching. Please give a thumbs up below the video. That's helpful to the channel. And we will see you on the next project.